Hey guys, tonight we're going to do a little bit of Disney stuff, namely with the veritable mascot of Disney. We'll send her to the stars with Mickey's Space Adventure. One of the early Sierra online games. One of the many great things I have to say about Sierra is that they are fantastic story writers. If you've ever seen King's Quest or Police Quest, Space Quest, um, Quest for Glory, any of those, they're all written fantastically well. And in my personal opinion, a lot more fun to watch than they are to play. But still, great games. Uh, we will not be continuing a saved game. So this game starts like presumably any other day in Mickey and Pluto's lives. What's this? Really? Okay, so unlike most Sierra games where you have to type out what it is you want to do, it actually gives you options. So we can look around places to start out. Okay, there we go. So it doesn't like you looking in a direction. Foothills rolling, that's a funny p thought. So you can go in a direction, you can look at things. Well, the blinding flash was to the north, so it makes logical sense to go north. Well, 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 they exist after all. Look away. Hmm. Go away. Run south. Run spaceship. Does not compute. Enter east. All right, enter spaceship. Hmm. Where north? Where gauge? <coughs> Look, spacesuit. So those are actually important. I will explain it as we go. Button doesn't say anything. 
20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. Not a bad day. All right. So that's the airlock door control. We cannot go south anymore, but we instead go north. Otherwise reasonable. So this is the only place that we can save a game. And I won't let you do it without a floppy drive set up. I'm not going to bother with that because we can finish this in one shot. Well, south will take us back to the uh, airlock. Looks like a muffin and as hard as a rock. You're actually eating that thing? <sighs> well, it doesn't look like much more can be done there. Let's go north. Okay, so this is actually pretty important. What this map is showing us is how to navigate to each planet from the ship. And we'll see how that works in the western room, which is the control room. So, one orange, one blue, one orange, one blue. And this is the order of the planets, so. And this is before NASA shoved their heads up their asses and demoted Pluto. Which, if you can't tell by what I just said, I will never accept that. Well, eating isn't necessary in this game. It doesn't let you sleep in this game. Uh, okay, that's good. And the ship's empty, so it seems. Let's head west. Well, there's your blue and orange buttons. Well, as you can see, the uh, screwing around gets old after a little while. 
So now we're going to start doing this right. First we'll flip the switch, which gives us a major information dump. The planet Oron. Huh. So it seems as though our mission is that of rebuilding a civilization's history. One for each planet. Oh, so they sent this ship automated. Pretty neat. And this was 1986. So what you're telling me is these people achieved space travel prior to 1911. Incredible. So it'll tell us the order in which we have to find the crystals. Huh. Well, all right then. He said there was one on Earth. Question is, where on Earth? An unusually large oak tree. Well, let's go up. Well, look at this. Something pretty shiny here. One down, eight to go. Get down is perfectly good. Well, since we're going to be going on a long adventure, So we've made it to Mickey's house.
Hmm. Well, we need the rope. In order to get the rope, we must untie the rope. Now we'll untie the rope and get the rope. Seems we're not going to need the tire. So we'll send Pluto into the doghouse. <laughs> well, we're going to need to get boned for this. Let's go into the house. Well, if we don't do this, we'll get a less exciting ending, but if we do do this, it'll be better. So, magically, there's stuff here to write a letter. So let's write a letter. Ah, oh, he's letting Minnie know he's going. What a good boyfriend. We're going to need both the mattress and the scarf. Too bad we can't go into the closet because of some other reason I was going to do that. Uh, how about the bathroom? So this is really for educational purposes. You can weigh yourself on each planet if you pick up the scale. On Earth, Mickey weighs 100 pounds. So there's your benchmark. You'll need the sunglasses. And in the kitchen. Ah, the old adventure game staple. The flashlight. <sighs> the crowbar and a wrench, huh? Why not? Yeah, we got business to handle. We've gotten everything we need in the house. Then we're going to head for the mailbox. 
mail that letter so we can get a good ending. All right. So the funny thing about the scale is that there's only one screen per planet on which you can use the scale. If you find it, you'll be able to manipulate that. All right. Back to the ship. Here we go. So in order to go up, I see. So we have to tell it where we're going first. But we should ask the computer where the next crystal is because it did say there's an order to this. Triton. Well, it only makes sense that Triton would be one of Neptune's moons. It is also indeed the fourth and last of the four gas planets, or so called. Do they call them gas giants? I know they're gas planets, but. Well, we're headed to Neptune, and the code for that Yeah, so pay attention to that order as we go So once you have the code in Go ahead and pull the throttle to go up. So now if you push the throttle after pulling it up into space, the code you put in will take you to the next planet. So here's some information. Yeah, so this was during a time when Pluto was actually closer to Earth than Neptune was. Come 1999, those cross orbits that they have will switch their relative positions to Earth. Yep, gas giants indeed. Okay, quiz question for anybody watching. What is the second of Neptune's moons? Just a moment, guys.
Sorry guys, hold up. Okay, we're good now. So, did anybody figure out that Nairaid was the second moon discovered then? If not, excuse me, you know now. So, let's explore us a planet. Actually, I believe the order changes. Each time this game's played, it's the same nine planets, the same nine puzzles. But aside from Earth, I think the order may be different. All right, so. Let's push the button. Okay. Here's a good reason to have a spacesuit. Outside on Neptune, it is negative 200 Celsius or negative 328 Fahrenheit degrees. You will freeze in an instant. So spacesuits on the air supply refills every time you remove and put the spacesuit back on if you go 50 turns without getting back to the spaceship they don't die but the game does end with Mickey and Pluto getting quote unquote too tired to continue oh. All right, so let's see what I remember. Yeah, there you go. Here's where we can weigh. So the gravity of Triton is about 8% of the gravity of Earth. You'll get periodic warnings
as your air goes down. I believe at the 20, 30, and 40 turn marks will you have that. Well, we have the crowbar. We can use that to bash the icicles out. Okay. The idea here is we need to get captured. Oh, here's warning number one. We still have 30 turns. not the end this is exactly where we need to go seems the king found the crystal and made a scepter of it and the game will very kindly tell us that the leader wants a scarf So we'll hand over the scarf, get ourselves escorted out of the castle. Well, we have no further business here anyhow, so... We should instead head on back to the spaceship. That's the main entrance, by the way. There's a reason I went around the way I did, and that's so as to not run into these guys. Here's 20 turns. I'm going to BS enough time to get the last warning. Don't know if anybody can hear me, but we seem to be having some uh, trouble here. There we go. My net for a moment was being a little bit less than cooperative. Because of my own inability to read my commands, I thought we were going to lose. And had we, I would have just cut the stream right then and there. Anyway, let's go on. Okay. 
Flip the switch for our next instruction. The smallest planet in the solar system is Pluto. Uh, let's have some fun for a minute and put an invalid code in. Well, let's reset the code. It doesn't let you fly anywhere unless you have a valid code put in. And we're looking for Pluto. And if you're ever unsure, the description of the planet you've just reached will tell you something that lines up with what XL30 said. All right. The air supply has been reset. It's even colder here by some 50, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So you need disk one for Earth and the spaceship and disk two for all the planets. I've got all the files together so that doesn't really matter. It looks to me as though whichever screen Mickey's looking at a planet from, or some kind of body, is where he can weigh. Five pounds here, so the gravity's even less than Neptune was. All right. Would you look at that? Aliens with heads resembling Pluto the dog. Obviously, somebody thought ahead here. And another crystal piece. Well, there is a reason we grabbed that bone from Pluto's doghouse after all. Another swap. Okay, we've done what we had to here. A hot, cloudy planet. Uh, Venus has a pretty toxic atmosphere and is, to my recollection, the hottest planet. So, we're going to press the blue. Mm. 
land ourselves on Venus. Yep, hot and cloudy holds the heat in. So that's right where we needed to be. Look at this, folks. Close to 900 Fahrenheit. You do not want to be on this planet unprotected. Where we need to go this time is toward a chasm. Can we get down on our own power? No, we can't. So let's use one of our traditional adventure game staples, the rope. Now let's go down the rope. Huh, looks like a failed mission to me. Well, let's open her up. All right, let's get some wrenchy help. You're kidding me. How did this crystal wind up in one of our probes? We didn't start building the stuff until the 1950s. And this crystal was stolen in 1911. Or sometime before then. Unless the crystal went through the back wall of the probe when it crashed. It's the only thing I can think of. Let's take it. Four down, five up. Let's get back up and get out of here. planet with giant polar ice caps which are made of water ice well let's think where we've been we've already been to Pluto we've already been to Neptune Uranus Saturn and Jupiter are all gas giants so there's no polar there's no ice caps of any kind there um, we've been to Earth, we've been to Venus, Mercury would be far too hot to have ice. That leaves Mars. So the code is orange, blue. There's your info on the ice caps. Rusty ground. We're getting warmer, minus 238. The 
Oops. An inactive volcano, huh? New staple item. Flashlight on. Stuck in the dirt, but not deeply enough. Pluto's able to dig it out. Get dig. Go dig. We are officially halfway. Teeny bit more so. A moon called Io of the fifth planet from the sun, which is Jupiter. Io, Europa, Ganymede, and some other name. It was like 10 years ago, I did a study for a class on the four big moons of Jupiter. Don't remember the last one, though, and I don't really care to look it up. If anybody wants to put it in chat, go right ahead. It occurs to me that every code except for Venus either is simply one orange or begins with orange. Venus is just one blue. There's Jupiter. We wind up on Io. Since Jupiter's a gas giant, of course, we cannot land on it. 16 moons had already been discovered. I don't know, read I.O. makes perfect sense in computer speak. We've somehow managed to get warmer than Mars. 202. This one's pretty involved. We're going to need a rock from here.
Well, we can't go north because we got ourselves an active volcano there. I think I forgot to weigh Mickey on the last few planets, but oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, what are we going to do? Long jump? Swim in lava? Or that big rock we got earlier? Throw it. We need to get ourselves another rock. Well, you're not going to be able to carry two of those rocks at once. This is the one planet where you've really got to have some faith in your air supply. If you do what you're doing without too much screwing around, you'll be able to get back to the ship, no problem. So we'll throw the other rock. And we've got a far enough bridge. Yep, now would be a good time to run straight back to the ship. Uh, yeah, that would have been bad. Titan, planet with 21 moons. Well, I happen to know that Titan is a moon of Saturn, so... There we go. Going up. Going down. Okay. Yep, getting colder again. A liquid methane lake that'll melt you if you try swimming that but let's cross anyway how you say by use of that inflatable mattress we got from Mickey's home
Interestingly, this trick does not use up any oxygen time. That's one way to do things. Not even one warning this time. A small hot planet. So number eight is Mercury, the only planet left after this. Yeah, only planet left beyond this is Uranus. So just one orange. No atmosphere to hold heat in. So all the heat that Mercury gets, which doesn't quite add up to what Venus gets with its atmosphere, is generated by the proximity of the sun. So we need to head this way. Mercurian has found itself some food, except that's not actually food. Well, let's go to our old tried and true method of trade. Give him some relief from the hot, heavy light. Yeah, why not? Let's check it out. Relax, we're right at the spaceship. We're coming. One planet left, but let's get a briefing anyway. A moon called Oberon which we knew by process of elimination was going to be Uranus or Uranus for those ever so mature viewers out there.
That's our sequence. Let's go. So Uranus and Neptune are pretty much twins in size, as are Earth and Venus. Cold, cold day. Let's look at Uranus. Uranus is bluish green in color. Uranus has faint rings of rock particles around it. Okay, let's go. Let's head into the temple. Wait, are you telling me that we need all the other pieces of the crystal in order to generate enough light to pop that door? Huh. Which leads me to believe that even if everything else is randomized, this is the last crystal every time because of story. What really catches his eye is the crystal wedged in the eye. Aha! And a very rare time when an item has a dual use in a game. Out comes the crowbar. It is possible to get tired out while inside the spaceship. Realistically insensible because by the time you hit the button, you can just take the sh take the sh suit off. Back to the control room for more or less debriefing. Pretty cool. And now to input the only code we haven't used yet. The one that will get us home.
Well, let's leave the spaceship to our best ending. So the spaceship disappears. version of this tune on Ancient Empires again, just like we did before. So this is the ending we get for having mailed that letter to Minnie. And that was Mickey's space adventure. Uh, tune in tomorrow night for some more Duke 3D. The second half of Shrapnel City at which we get to the original final boss before the fourth episode was released. So tune in for that sometime after 10. And that is that. Have an alpha night.